Your flat-footed friends. I don't know what you're talking about. Ed, the north side is my territory, Knuckles, and you're moving out permanently. Now, come on, Scat. So long, Knuckles. Thank you. 
6 o'clock and we still don't have those replacements. Yes, we do, so I found them. I found them. I sat to the base, suddenly, as if from heaven. Well, how did they look? And how did they play? I don't know. What? Well, I talked to one of them over the phone. She sounded very nice. A little horse, maybe. She said that they were both experienced musicians and that it was extremely important that they travel right away. Well, do you think they're in some kind of trouble? No, no, nothing like that. She said they had to leave for a recent call. That, that getting out of Chicago would add years to their lives. Well, where are they? We're ready to leave. Just calm down. I gotta try to hold the train anyway. Well, what is wrong now? Sugar isn't here yet. <gasps> what? Sue, calm down. <gasps> I warned that Dizzy Dame. If she's not on the train, I'm stuck. How about it? Sue, I promised the drivers of the newsreels that two of the girls would do a number before I pulled out. A number? Now? Without a Saxon face? <laughs> All right, girls, number 17. Give up number 17. <laughs>
How about the shape of that liquor cabinet? Oh, Joe, we've been playing with all the wrong man. I tell you, one buzz loop will get kicked off this train. Now you tore the other one. Pizza! I thought I made it clear. Drinking on this outfit. All right, girls, who does this belong to? Speak up now. Sugar, please. Hey, Mr. Bean, stop. Hey, I'm a glass bag, please. Your boss? Oh, yes, I always get a little bourbon. Well, in case I need a little bourbon. <laughs> there are two things I will not tolerate. One is you. liquor, and the other is men. Get your bag, you'll be in Miami first thing in the morning. Well, bye. You're a girl. I'm a girl.
feeling, but this is where I get off. You don't get off that easily, do you? What kind of girl do you think I am? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Well, get ready for the answer. <laughs> when the sun is cresting and the earth is prime, are the youthful jesting in the face of time? But a man.
But if we're gonna stay here, I gotta go meet some of my MDs. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Shudder. Oh, just a minute. <laughs>
have you in the band much longer. Green stuff! And here's so I'm here. Those girls make a terrible staff. Call Phil Spatton and tell him he can have the whole lousy outfit. What's wrong, so I thought they sounded swell? That's because you've got a tin ear. This whole group's got a tin ear! Excuse me while I have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I right, should go lay down for a while.
Oh, my God. 
lucky girl. I am! <laughs> Sweet Sue wants in 
introduce the new number tomorrow, but we do have to get up early and rehearse. Well, listen to me. This responsibility. Maybe there is somebody living in here after all. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't feel safe in this room with you. <laughs> Of Chicago. 
And it's to this town, that windy old city by breezy Lake Michigan, that I'd like to dedicate this song. And one of our newest members of the Syncopators from sassy South Carolina, Mary Flair. When you meet a man in Gay Perry, the chances are he's gonna be a maitre d or merchant of my wine. When you meet a man in London town and know he pulls his money down by huddling with bankers or owning oil tankers. When you need a man in Chicago, you never, never know what business he's in. He might be my dear, some like financier, To one he isn't, there are certain men in Chicago who never, never tell what bins they're in. If their pearl gray spats match their ties and hands, baby, that's a clue. If there's money in their pocket, you ought to think before you knock it. If the night seems right and the deals are tight, I'll just leave it to you. If the night seems right and the deals are tight, I'll just leave it to you. And if some nice chance will spring for the rent, I'll just
The ladies' room, Daphne. He's gonna be so happy. <clears throat> I could have sworn they come this way. Hey, what? How about we follow them anyway? Yeah. I know them two rocks from Chicago somewhere. I can't remember where. Most of God is killing me. What do you want?
people. Some of them are leaving me <coughs> and going to that other place where they're cow like wolves. And, <laughs> and others of them are going on to uh, college and so forth, and, and I want them to know how much I appreciate them. We give a letter out in um, drama, for those of you who may not be aware of that. And there's uh, several people. I'd like those who have already received the letter to stay forward and be notified to notice. We already have a drama letter. Uh, and the others that have received it worked really hard. They've been in at least a uh, major part in uh, two or more major productions or productions at the community theater or other things in town and done lots and lots of theater, put in well over several hundred hours in the theater uh, have earned their uh, letter tonight. One of them is Mandy Kaiser, who doesn't have to be in this show, but she's at Oliver, and they have a couple of evening. Thank you. 
know, I guess it was kind of a, another word that I sort of made up because, um, I don't know, it just fit. The best taskmaster award, and I think that is the person that kind of could say, okay, come on, it went to several people, but uh, kept us on task and made us do what had to be done, and that was Jamal McCartney. <laughs> Thank you. 